What's going on? I go by the name of Jim Fox, aka Beat Fox, and I beatbox. Beatboxing is basically, it's a, it's a combination of using your mouth, your tongue, your lips, your nose, your throat. I'd say it's one of the earliest art forms of music. We've been creating it since we, we were born. It, we were all making noises before we could talk, so it just adapts from there, really. Three, two, one. So uh, beatboxing to me is basically the same as this apart from you can't see it. So to me, it's just what I interpretate, what's going on in my head and what I reproduce, the same as these graffiti artists. So what they've envisioned is what they've thrown down and what I think about is what I spit out, pretty much. So that's how I sum it up. In Islam, some schools of thought prohibit the use of stringed instruments. So very similar to beatboxing, some Nasheed singers actually use their throat and bodies to create rhythmic melodies, uh, drum sounds and percussive sounds. They use their body as an instrument. How do you usually style your hair? I usually just chuck my hat on top, man. <laughs> <laughs> it started off at school. I got known as the beatboxer. Beatbox became a nickname. On the back of the bus, I would always get hassled. Oh, do my name, do this song. My earliest memory was when I was in school and I went in and I was like, oh, I've got a radio in my throat. And I went. <laughs> and then when I was about 17, I went to Iron Apple and uh, met these rappers, ended up jumping on stage with them, done one show. Loved it. When they came back home to England, we linked up and started performing from there. So I was 18 years old, done my first show on an actual stage and just kind of really enjoyed what I was doing. Growing up, beatboxing wasn't really considered a job. So my dad, for instance, when I first took the change and started beatboxing as a living, he was always telling me to get a, a real job. But when I turned around to him and gave him his rent, there was nothing he could say because I was paying the bills and I was doing everything I needed to do through beatboxing. <laughs> Uh, growing up, my beatbox influence would have to be uh, Michael Winslow from Police Academy. I think he's one of the people that kind of showed me that making noises could be fun and used in different ways rather than just being you know, that kid in the corner of the classroom making noises, it could be... It basically just showed that you could have a lot of fun with it and play with the sounds and create situations or even get out of certain situations by making certain noises. When I freestyle, I try to keep it as natural as possible. I love the element of freestyling and the element of surprise. So 99% of my shows, I will walk out and generally not have an idea of what I'm going to do. I like feeling the audience and seeing what sounds they like. So. I'll do a few sounds, test the audience, and then I'm gonna dip in and out of certain routines and I will freestyle in between each one. It's just about how to work them in during the course of my set. Uh, advice I can give to people that want to get involved with beatboxing is just stay persistent, keep at it, and don't let the fun get taken away from it. When people tell you not to do it and people say they don't like it, just do what you want to do and express yourself in that way.